everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I have a Dollar Tree Fall DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this adorable fall gnome wreath. All of the materials that I used to make the wreath came from Dollar Tree with the exception of the burlap. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let me show you how to make it. To get started, you're going to need one of these tinsel witch hats that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. They've carried these for the past several years. You will need to remove all of the tinsel off of the witch hat. Now, uh, you can usually find an end of the tinsel here at the tip of the witch hat on the bottom on the right side or you can usually find it here at the tip of the hat. Okay, so go ahead and remove everything off of your form. I have all the tinsel off of my wreath form. I did leave the hanger that was attached. I'm going to use that to hang it when I'm finished. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and trim this, and I'm gonna take the rim of the hat off. Now you don't want to cut this piece that goes across the bottom because that keeps the whole top section together. So just take some wire cutters. They're uh, just plastic so it snips off rather easily. And remove the rim from the form. Just like that. And now we have our gnome hat form. For the nose, you'll need a package of the styrofoam balls. Now the size, you get three in a pack and they are 2.4 inches in diameter. You will only need one. And then you're going to need an old stocking knee high. And I found on the styrofoam balls Instead of painting them, they look better and smoother if you just put a nylon over them. And just kind of pull it to the back. Tie it off. And then you just want to pull it back and make sure that the front is smooth. See, then it looks like it's a natural colored nose. For the beard, I'm going to be using these beautiful fall leaves. Now, uh, this is the first year I found these at Dollar Tree, but you can use any uh, stems of fall leaves. These are from Floral Garden, and they're just called maple leaves. I did find them in two different colors. They had this really pretty kind of more dark red and orange. And then this one that is more yellow has a little bit of green and orange. So I have two stems of each. You want to remove all of the tags. And then on the stems, you want to go ahead and open up the stems. You don't want to open them too much. Now how I'm going to lay my leaves down is I'm going to have one of the darker ones in the center on the bottom. And I'm going to take one of the yellow and have it a little shorter and place it on one side. Put the yellow, other yellow one on the other side at the same height and then put the red one right on top and make that even shorter so they're layered on top of each other. We're going to start to attach our leaves to our wreath frame and I'm initially just going to hot glue them down but then once I have them hot glued in place I'm going to go back with some floral wire and further secure it to the frame. So you need to start with the one that's going to be on top. That's the first one that you're going to see. That one you want in the middle. So I'm going to hot glue this stem right here. And then I'll go back with the floral wire and attach it even further to this part. 
to make sure that your leaves are facing down. You have it in the position that you want and then add your hot glue to the frame. You want to hold it in position till that glue fully sets up and then you can hit it with the wire. If you need to, you can even bend the leaf a little bit so that you get good contact. Now you don't need to worry, all of this will be hidden once we wrap the top. Okay, let that glue fully set up. And then I'm gonna wrap the top and the bottom in this same frame here with the floral wire. Small piece of floral wire. I just want to make sure that this doesn't come loose and it is much easier to glue it in place first and then wrap it with some floral wire. If you just try to wrap it with the floral wire, it goes all over the place and it makes it much more difficult. So just hot glue it there and then wrap it. Makes it much easier. And I'm just going to also, once I get it tied down in that one spot, I'm going to wrap it up the stem so that it's nice and secure. Okay, so I hot glued down my leaf first, and then as you can see, I went in and I wrapped floral wire around that to make sure that is fully attached and secure. And in the front, you can see I placed it where part of these two leaves are hidden. I can always pull them down and fill that in a little bit more, but I wanted it that way so I had that extra leaf there for when I place my nose. So now I'm going to work down and place the rest of these as I go down and I'm going to tie them on the same way, but I'm just going to adjust their placement and make them longer as I go down. I got all of my leaves glued and wired on. They are nice and secure. My beard looks absolutely gorgeous. Now once you get it all on, just kind of play with the leaves, adjust them until you get the shape that you want. Now here on the outside, I'm cutting off these little nubs. Because I'm using burlap, I feel that they're going to pop through. They cut off really easily just with some wire cutters. And now I have a nice big piece of burlap. I bought this uh, nice big roll at Walmart uh, quite a while ago. I know they still carry it. And I measured out how much I'm going to need to wrap the top and then I doubled that. And I gave myself a little extra. Make sure that's folded in half and it's uh, all nice and even, or as even as you can get it with burlap. So you have one end that has the cut ends and one end that's folded. On the end that's folded, you want to fold that again. This is going to be the brim of the hat. And you can just use some hot glue to help tack that down. A little bit on either side. Just be careful, don't burn yourself. This is just to help hold it down while you wrap.
So flip it over so that the brim is facing down. Now when you wrap it, you want to make sure that you leave this piece out. Once you get it glued down, you can cut a little hole and pull that back through so that you can hang your piece. If you forget and you wrap it, you can always take a needle, a large needle and some jute cord and sew through and add a loop later. But it's much easier if you just leave that out. And you want to find your placement. Make sure that's kind of in the center. And bring it over. You don't want it too tight. You do need to add your nose later. Once you get it where you like it, you can start to glue it down. Again, just be cautious. Hot glue goes right through burlap. Okay, so you want to continue to pull that over to get that shape. Now I want to leave the tail here as long as I can, so whatever extra fabric I have there that I can make the tip even longer, I'm going to. I have my hat all nice and wrapped. I just folded everything into the center. Now I did the curved side first because that was the hardest. And then I just pulled over the other side and glued it down. And I remembered to make a little hole and pull my hanger through. Now you also want to go back through all the way down your crease and hit any area that may be loose. You want that to stay nice and secure and not come apart on you. Once that's nice and secure, we can go ahead and add the nose. So I'm going to attach my nose now. I just took off the extra nylon there. And I'm just going to lift it up. This is where I'm going to add the glue to glue it. And I'm going to just slide it in underneath. Add a good amount of glue so it stays. And you also want to pull the brim down and glue that down as well. So I have my nose on there. Now I want this to be a little bit fuller. So before I tack anything down or stuff anything in on either side, I want to fill the hat. So I'm just going to take the burlap that I trimmed off when I was wrapping the hat and I'm going to fold this up and use a dowel rod and stuff it in to fill up this part of the hat because I want that to look full. You can use whatever you have. I'm just using the extra burlap. That way, if anything kind of tries to show through, it all looks the same color. Yeah, I like that better. I think the hat looks better that way. I pulled out one more stem of the leaves and I cut two leaves off I'm going to help fill in this little space on either side of the nose and I'm just going to glue in one more leaf on either side that will help fill that in. 
Okay, I got it all filled in. I think it looks really nice. Now the final touch to this wreath is I'm going to add some stuff right here to decorate his hat a little bit. Now I pulled out some orange mini mums and some wheat. So I have three pieces of wheat. I'm going to put this in first. Just kind of put them together how you like. And I included the little leaves and everything. I want all that extra color. I'm just going to add some hot glue here on the ends and stick them in. Right down inside the brim of the hat here. until you get them so that they look the way you want. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of floral. There you go, we are all done. I think the wheat and the mini mums were the perfect final addition to finish off our wreath. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's fall craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help out my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching and then they show it to more people. Thanks again for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy hauls and craft tutorials, make sure to check out these other videos. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.